as they get the win tonight over Lorville, 16 to 14 in the class 2A bracket. The advance take on Jonesboro Hodge. Coach, congratulations on this win, and uh, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thank you guys for having me. Appreciate it. Did you think I was pulling your leg when I first called you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, Tremaine uh, graduated from Franklin in, in 2010, right? Right. And uh, in 2018, he was uh, kind of thrown in as the interim head coach. The principal liked what he saw. And uh, obviously, you know, Coach, how – you know, go ahead. 27, 26 when you got the job? Uh, 25 when I got the job. Wow. <laughs> man. Well, you got to be the talk of the town, man. Talk to us. A little bit how you've reached these kids like no other you know coach has you just a couple of years ago i think what was it jimmy they had won four games four, four wins in in the four years before coach johnson took over which is 2018 right yeah so talk a little bit to us about that and uh tell us your story man i think it's awesome uh i mean it, it was always good that the, the, the kids kind of relate to me because we come from the same background same community so I kind of reach them a little bit different from other guys that came before. What What were some of the things that you did to build this program up to where it is today? Oh, uh, I got to bring that back to uh, the guys that were my coaches when, when I was here, you know, coaches like uh, Zeb Simon and C.C. Paul. And uh, I just, when I, when I did get the job, I just told those seniors, uh, well, y'all, you guys are going to help me build this foundation. And they, 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 they trusted me, and I trusted them, and they built a strong foundation for me. How many uh, how many's on your roster right now, Coach? Oh, my roster right now, I have 28. And uh, you've probably gotten a lot of those kids out of the halls. And, uh, you know, when you're winning games, man, they're going to come out, and, and you're going to keep building that program. Yeah, that's, 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 the, that's the goal, and that's the plan to keep on building this program. And, uh... Let's just get some tradition back. Coach, I guess if, if I'm doing my math right, and that's questionable, this <laughs> this group of seniors, were, were they were freshmen when you started. So this is your first group that have come full through the program. What does that mean to you, kind of looking back and, and seeing the foundation you laid here, but with this group uh, and, and what they are looking to accomplish this season? Oh, a lot of those freshmen were thrown in the fire when I first came, and uh, – they didn't complain. They didn't cry. They they came and they worked their tails off. And we always say, uh, you get out what you put in. And they and they've been putting the work in since freshmen. So they they starting to reap those rewards. Coach, coach you right now seven and three on the year. The losses are to Ascension Episcopal School, which is a really good team, Patterson right. and Lauraville, and that was a five point game. You get that. Uh, Revenge game, I guess you could call it tonight over a number two seed, Lowerville. Just talk about the strength of schedule that you've played. Uh, I, we we pride ourselves on have, having the toughest twenty five kids against whoever we play. So uh, we kind of practice different. We have a different type of mindset over here, and uh, we just go out and compete. What you you say that y'all have a different mindset and you practice different? What what? How do you practice? With that uh, little bit just, of kids, we just everybody knows it. Next yeah. is you got to compete. Every is is no one your number could be called at any time. So it, all our guys are ready to go. Y'all hit we have this thing that we don't get nervous. So y'all hit a lot during practice. Yeah, we yeah. We, we hit a lot. So <laughs> you said um, in one of your comments that you know you want the kids, and I think it's a great philosophy. Don't think anything other than don't think about the last game, don't think about the next game. Think about right now. Think about being in the moment, because sometimes those kids get their minds going in every which way, and you can't get their attention. But to keep them focused on the moment is huge. Right, right. We 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 also say that you know focus on what you got to do at that moment at that time and. And then it'll, it'll work out for us. Last time you played Lowerville, got into a shootout with them, forty-seven to forty-two. Tonight is a defensive battle, sixteen to fourteen. Take us through the game tonight. T tonight we 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 are the same team we were uh, week three. We was kind of still finding ourselves. We didn't have a jamboree. We didn't have a uh, first game. So you know there was two games, two three games ahead of us. Some guys are still trying to fill out and fill out positions. We made some defensive changes, 
my uh, defensive coordinator watched film. We we discussed. We made some 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 adjustments, and we were ready to go. Do you did y'all start off leading tonight, or did y'all tell us about the flow of the game? Oh yeah, we we they started off with with a touchdown. We came and uh, scored and went for two. Unfortunately, uh, our kicker got hurt maybe three weeks ago, so it kind of forced us to go for two, but it worked out in our favor. Well, man, well, we appreciate you taking the time. I'm going to shoot you the uh, the video of this uh, here shortly, and we're going to get it out to Franklin, and uh, so all the the people know you're uh, you're popular and the most famous guy <laughs> from Franklin. <laughs> Appreciate it. Hey, man, we appreciate yeah, you, man. You, you keep doing a good job and working with those kids and getting them to do the right thing, man. And uh, they're going to be where you want them before you know it. Appreciate you guys. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thanks. Todd, I think, you know, they're going to they're gonna host, actually. They'll host Jonesboro Hodge in the next round. And that's a, that's a winnable game also. You know, uh, when I did call him, he's kind of just quiet. He didn't say it. I, I'm thinking – you know, because he's young, and he's right. like he's thinking I'm pulling his leg. You know, he don't think I'm pulling yeah, the prank on. Yeah, ESPN Baton Rouge, Rouge. what? Yeah, yeah, right. right, you know. <laughs> but Jonesboro Hodge, they've got a good quarterback, six five, uh, two hundred pounds. He can throw it around. They played a good Mangum team tonight, and uh, they advanced. So that, that'll be that good. one kind of surprised me. Mangum.